Drivable Robert E. Lee Steamboat. <laughs> Drivable Steam Schooner E seven hundred trolley bus. Uh, I wonder if you can put passengers in here. Oh, it looks like it also has headlights. Oh yeah, wow. And the interior lights up too. Ferry boat Sophie 38 drivable. Eh, the horn for this doesn't work in rail yard. I would have to test it in driver. Very about Sophie 38 version 2 drivable. It took me all afternoon to find the dependencies for these ferry boats. And it doesn't help that most of the dependencies are only available on our website that's only in Russian, so I have no idea which one I'm supposed to download because I can't read Russian. Funicular PL car left. Hmm, interesting. This is supposed to go up an incline. And that's why it's faced like that. Here's another funicular car. It has one of those animation glitches in the wheels where they don't stop spinning. Gondola cable car. You can't see the whole thing because um it's underneath this. Gordon the big blue engine. Oh yeah, apparently something happens when you press the panograph. Uh, watch very closely. <laughs> That's funny. And it comes back, apparently. That's just weird. <laughs> Percy, the small green engine. Out! Pain! The pain! Sir... Ah, that, that was that was actually really painful. Ah, what's this? Does it have a horn? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Please fasten your seat belts. Observe the no smoking sign. RZD VL sixty K twelve twenty two. Wow, sounds like a ship horn or something. RZD VL eighty C ninety nine two nine seventy five A Ship RMS Mar Maritania Anyway, the horn for this doesn't work in real yard either. It probably works in driver though. Might be a three part horn. This ship is so huge it pops out of the rail yard. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's brown and his name is Toby, which reminds me of a movie. <laughs> this boat has some pretty good scripting and even goes up and down as if it's in water. 
Uh, tugboat drivable Mary Jane. Oh, it does have headlights, you just can't see them. Hmm, interesting. Union Pacific SD 9043 Mac, number 8008. The ditch lights do not flash, but when you press the panograph button, you can open this door. This ship is so huge, the game thinks it derailed in the yard, in, in the rail yard. Like, in, like, there was like, while it was loading, there was a huge X in the middle where the train, where the middle of the train is supposed to be. <laughs> it thinks it derailed. The horn for this ship doesn't work in rail yard either. Most of the ship horns don't work here. They probably work in a uh, driver though. Uh, U.S. Abrams 7 tank strike driver uh, drivable. Eh, this horn doesn't work in rail yard either, sadly. I'm gonna start testing the horns that don't work in rail yard in an actual route. Ship RMS Marin, Marin, Marintania. Okay, so here's the horn. This is the bell. Next up, USA NL drivable ship Ned 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 Loy Runin container ship. This container ship carries containers on the upper level and cars, trucks, and buses on the lower level. And general goods apparently. Uh, I wouldn't go inside the cab of this ship if I was you. I just did and now the game's frozen. Okay, the horn for this one doesn't work in driver either. Okay, now for the US Abrams tank. It doesn't have a horn, but when you press the bell button it fires the cannon. And it actually makes it look like you hit something. This is interesting. No wonder this wouldn't work in rail yard. How how did that car survive that? It doesn't look like it actually destroys stuff, but it still looks cool.
These cars don't know how to keep going. 